If you're a fan of great Western films, you've probably seen Rio Bravo. It's considered a masterpiece of the Western genre and one of the best films Howard Hawks directed. Among the many things that made it a success was the talented Rio Bravo cast. Sadly, the main cast members have left us. But while they have left us physically, they've also left us an incredible legacy behind. Today, we bring you the fascinating stories about the main Rio Bravo cast members. Whether you've seen the film before or are planning on discovering it soon, learning about the Rio Bravo cast will enhance your enjoyment of this masterpiece. Join Facts First to learn about the Rio Bravo cast then and now. John Wayne John Wayne was born May 26, 1907 and was one of the most iconic actors in Hollywood history. He appeared in over 100 films and became a symbol of American patriotism and masculinity. He was known for his tall stature, rugged appearance, and deep voice, as well as his signature walk. Wayne's film career began in the 1930s, and he quickly rose to fame thanks to roles in westerns such as Stagecoach and Red River. However, it was his role in Rio Bravo that became one of his most memorable performances. He played the role of Sheriff John T. Chance, a tough lawman trying to keep a murderer in custody while fending off attacks from the killer's gang. Wayne's portrayal of Chance was a perfect fit for his tough guy persona. This performance is one of many that helped establish his status as one of the great actors of all time. Wayne's career spanned several decades and he was known for his work in a wide range of genres. He appeared in war films, westerns, comedies, and dramas. He won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in True Grit. He was also lauded for his performances in Sands of Iwo Jima and The Alamo. His role in Rio Bravo was just one example of the many iconic performances he delivered throughout his career. Wayne passed away June 11, 1979 at age 72 due to complications from cancer. However, his legacy lives on through his films and the impact he had on American culture. He remains an enduring symbol of strength, resilience, and heroism, and his role in Rio Bravo is just one example of the many iconic performances he delivered throughout his career. Dean Martin Dean Martin was born June 7, 1917 in Steubenville, Ohio. He began his career as a nightclub singer, and he soon became a popular act in Las Vegas. In 1946, he joined forces with comedian Jerry Lewis, and together they became one of the most famous comedy duos of all time. After the Martin and Lewis partnership ended in 1956, Martin focused on his solo career. He began recording hit songs such as That's Amore and Volare and became a regular on TV variety shows. He also transitioned into acting and starred in numerous films over his career. But it was his dramatic performance in Rio Bravo that truly showcased his acting chops. In the film, he played the role of Dude, a former deputy who has turned to alcoholism after a personal tragedy. Martin's portrayal of Dude was subtle and it showed audiences he was more than just a singer and comedian. It was also a departure from his usual comedic performances and helped establish him as a serious actor. His chemistry with John Wayne, who played the lead, was palpable. He also continued recording music and had several hit albums throughout the 60s and 70s. He passed away December 25, 1995 at age 78 due to respiratory failure. Ricky Nelson Ricky Nelson was a singer, songwriter, and actor who became a teenage heartthrob in the 50s and 60s. He was known for hit songs like Hello Mary Lou and Travelin' Man, but he also had a successful acting career and appeared in several films and TV shows throughout his career. He was born on May 8, 1940 in Teaneck, New Jersey. His father was the band leader Ozzie Nelson, and his mother Harriet was also an entertainer. He made his debut on his parents' television show, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, in 1952. In addition to his music career, Nelson also became known for his acting roles. He appeared in several films, including The Wackiest Ship in the Army and Love and Kisses. But it was his role in Rio Bravo that truly showcased his acting talent. He played Colorado Ryan, a young gunslinger who's trying to prove himself to the older, more experienced lawmen. His performance was praised by critics and fans alike and helped establish him as a serious actor. After Rio Bravo, Nelson continued to act in films and TV shows. He also continued recording music and had several hit albums throughout the 60s and 70s. But his career began to slow down in the 80s and he struggled with personal problems like drug addiction. 
He passed away December 31, 1985, at age 45 from a plane crash. Walter Brennan Walter Brennan was an American actor who appeared in over 200 films and TV shows, and one of his most memorable was in the classic western Rio Bravo. Walter was born July 25, 1894, in Lynn, Massachusetts. He had a passion for acting from a young age and began performing in school plays and local theater productions. After serving in World War I, Brennan moved to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting. His career took off in the 1930s, and he quickly became a popular character actor. He appeared in several films with stars like Humphrey Bogart and Gary Cooper. In Rio Bravo, Brennan played the role of Stumpy, an old gentleman who helps Sheriff John T. Chance and his deputies defend the town against a group of bandits. Brennan's performance was one of the highlights of his career and earned him praise from critics and audiences. It was the perfect example of his ability to play curmudgeonly yet lovable old men. He brought humor and heart to the role and had great chemistry with his co-stars, particularly John Wayne. Brennan was also a talented singer. He recorded several albums of country and western music and had a hit single with the song Old Rivers in 1962. He passed away on September 21, 1974 at age 80 due to emphysema. Among his great performances, his role in Rio Bravo will always be celebrated. Estelita Rodriguez Estelita Rodriguez was born July 1928 in Guanaje, Cuba, and started her career in the entertainment industry as a singer and dancer. She was discovered by a talent scout and signed by Columbia Pictures in the early 40s. Her big break came when she was cast as the sultry and seductive singer Rosita in Rio Bravo. Her performance in the film was highly acclaimed and she became a household name overnight. After Rio Bravo, Estelita appeared in several other films, including The Big Circus, The Wild Party, and The Yellow Tomahawk. She had a successful career in television, appearing in popular shows like Perry Mason, The Lone Ranger, and The Adventures of Ren Tin Tin. Despite her success in Hollywood, Estelita faced racism and discrimination due to her ethnicity. She was often typecast as the exotic Latina, which limited the scope of her roles. But she continued to break barriers and pave the way for future generations of Latina actresses. Estelita's life was tragically cut short when she died of a heart attack on March 12, 1966, at age 37. But her legacy as a trailblazer and talented actress lives on and her performance in Rio Bravo continues to be celebrated as very memorable. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Rio Bravo? Do you think the Western films of the past are the best examples of the genre? Let us know in the comments section below.